on um, in your own words guys incredible I mean we've been down here for two hours now the cops turned up about half an hour ago and for an hour and a half we just watched guys kids like 14 13 years old just running up to shops smashing the windows all of them would run in behind and just grab everything and just come out yeah. and these uh, guys you could talk to these guys you could walk like speak to them say hey you know can I have a light and they give you a light yeah. They were literally just here to run into shops, smash the window, do as much damage as possible they could do. We didn't feel unsafe. Without harming anyone around them. Didn't feel no civilians, anything like that. They just wanted to do damage to buildings and uh, make as much mess as possible in the area. Mm. Um, but the police took at least an hour and a half to get down here. Yeah, there's no one here to stop them, was there? Nobody here to stop them. Um, no. They just no, could do as, literally whatever they wanted for as and long as they wanted. And they didn't care. They were smiling and running around laughing. It was incredible. Yeah, I've never care. seen anything I've never like seen anything like it in my whole life. It was literally yeah. completely out of control, an example of literally the law losing control. Particularly in this area as well. Yeah. It's a nice area. It's a nice this area. This is a lovely area. This is a very popular, I mean, lovely my area. My girlfriend lives above the Curries. Which is which is which we is were we were we were looking at earlier. It's been the main on. focus, really. Yeah, yeah. 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 The main focus started at Curry's actually. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. Spread the whole way across all the, the way road. down. And you, you, but you could walk, you could walk up and down. No, I don't know about you, but no, most no. of them I saw had uh, like a balaclava, balaclava or something covering or their faces. Not even all of them had anything on their faces. They didn't care. They just don't care. They just want to smash some buildings yeah, and grab girls, a load of stuff guys, out there. They didn't care, and they were going up, like, storing stuff, and then coming back down and looting yeah. again. They were going back to their houses, putting it in, and coming back to get some more. They're walking very calmly out of Curry's. Not even worried. Incredible. Just slowly as they like. No, I mean, it's someone, you know, it's two guys who live around here. Uh, do you blame the police for not being here on time, or do you appreciate I, the fact that maybe they've got more to do we, elsewhere? I, we, I we don't really understand exactly what's going on with the police. You know, I don't know how many police are, are around or what they're doing. I know that Croydon's in a bad, bad way, so a lot of them are probably down there. I talked to the guys, and that's what they told us. They said that we've been down there and we've come back now. Mm. On a more normal day around here, you don't actually I would not see that many police, that. do you? No, I would not expect that. No, there's never any but police around here. I mean, I mean, that sort of gives an impression of the sort of area it is. This is one yeah, of the yeah, nicest areas. It's, it's the nicest, you know, quiet, like, quietest area usually in, in, in South Wandsworth. It's all, here. it's all, Brilliant. you know, quite trendy people. They've got good jobs. Yeah. They look, take care of themselves. They spend a lot of money down here. I wonder from uh, from what you you saw, and uh, I was amusing about this earlier. I mean, had the police come down here earlier when it was kind of at its height? Do you think they'd become targets? No, I think it would have got rid of them uh, quicker. I mean, as soon as the police it, came down, they all scattered. They, were gone. they all disappeared. They did, and everyone cheered as well. So there's quite yeah. a crowd gathered yeah, around I mean, here, sort right. of watching it. Really. Funny enough, that's when right. everyone's ransacking the shops, one police car drove by down there, and it was just, just one cop car. Once they heard the sirens, they all ran. They ran but when yeah. they saw it was just one car, they all went back into the shops difference. again. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if the police came down on time, this would have stopped hours ago. But they're not. They're not hurting people. They're just hurt, hurting the shops. But doesn't it appear to be a political point, though, does it? Oh, of course. It's exactly what it is. It's a statement, isn't it? Do you think so? Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Uh, well, what is the statement, though? For, oh, I don't know. You've forgotten about us, maybe. You've forgotten Do you about think, us. No, I mean, because my impression was it was opportunistic, and they perhaps it was going on around it's the rest a, of the reminder. capital. Yeah, it all started, started with what happened up in Tottenham, didn't it, with the guy, the policeman who shot that young guy? Yeah, but I mean, do you really feel that, that do you really feel that sentiment from Tottenham has resonated down here, or do you Absolutely. think that they are looking at what happened in Enfield, what happened in that's, Hackney, that's exactly what's happening exactly. in Croydon, and they're thinking, well, we're going to take our chances? We as spoke well. to a guy here, and he said that since Tottenham, text messages have been going flying around to people that weren't involved in this, yeah. and that's what's happened. They've just come down here and they've. You know, they decided to have a it's go just down. escalated. So you get the sense it's a bit more coordinated than... Uh, oh, it's very coordinated. Definitely coordinated. I have, like, a guy that told us that he, he, he received a text message. He didn't get involved in the incident, but some of his friends did, yeah. he was telling us, on the street yeah. about yeah. half an hour ago. Yeah. And he received a text message saying, so, guys, we're meeting in Clapham Junction at such and such an hour. Let's get all down there. And they managed to gather 300 guys. Okay, yeah. interesting. And, and I suppose it's probably a question you probably can't answer. But, I mean, just judging by what you just said, do you think these are mainly people who live around here, or do you think they've come from other parts of London to gather here? Oh, a lot of guys live around here, don't they? Yeah, yeah, so you think it is, it yeah, is, it is more of a local... Wandsworth, uh, maybe ethic. Brixton they come across. Everywhere. Well, I, think, I think a lot of the people involved uh, uh, were probably from here. It's but just to clarify, you think it's something that is coordinated sort of city-wide, if you like, but is there was an well, operation on a local level. Everyone descend on Clapham Junction. That's yeah. what they were so saying. it's hard to know exactly where they're all coming from, you know. Yeah, so no, of course, and I, I know it's a difficult question for you to try yeah, and yeah, assess yeah, where yeah. they come from. But it, it's interesting what you're saying about, um, you know, the, the text messages. Uh, what about um, people who weren't involved in the looting around here that you might have spoken to? Bystanders, people they who live around here. They were just all gobsmacked. Casual. Everyone had their cameras out, taking cameras. videos, taking yeah. photographs. It was like, seriously, like a tourist attraction. It was, it was like casual, it. and we yeah. weren't getting told to move. 
Okay. I sort of thought that was a bit strange. I would, I would have thought the cops would tell us to leave. Yeah. Oh, it was badly handled by the police. Well, look, guys, thank you very much. And uh, you know, fascinating what you say. And I mean, it's, you do get different opinions whoever you speak to. But I mean, you know, talking to those guys, they, they, they got the impression that it was a much more coordinated uh, attempt down here than maybe you know, you know, we saw for ourselves. Alistair, for the moment, thank you. Well, let's go uh, live to Croydon now, and our home affairs correspondent. Uh